Here is a quick uh, tutorial using uh, Zara Designer Pro 7 on how to make a website template. Close any uh, any uh, pages you have open, click File, New, A for Portrait. Once you have this open, you can then right click on the colors, click Options, and go straight to Units. Change the page and font unit to Pixels. Press Apply. Once you've done that, go to uh, sorry General, and then click on Document is intended to be a website press apply, then go to grid and ruler and we're going to change the major spacing to 1px click apply, next go to page size, get a click on custom and change the width to 1500 press apply, then ok once you've done that you then want to change the background color to the page that's whatever you wish, then create a box and remove any curvature on the corners press window and snap to objects, we're then going to change the width of this box to 1024 or whatever your minimum width would be for your websites that you tend to use. Put it at the top of the page, press Control shift l and select within pages, horizontal position aligned centrally, press apply, close and change the color of the box as you wish and drag the height of the box to the bottom of the page. Next click window, go to bars, click on rulers, click on the left ruler panel and drag holding down the click onto the edge of the page and then drag again onto the right side of the page. Once you've done that, drag another box and remove any curvature on the box and change the color as you wish so you can see it. And then make it so uh, you want to uh, then change the height of this box to something like 150 or whatever you usually use for the head of your page. Drag it to the top, change the width to the width of your minimum width, mine's 1024. Then you want to click on the top ruler panel again, drag down to the bottom of that, and then you have another line here for your header. Last but not least, you want to draw another box on the edge of the page, make it bright so you can see it, remove the curvature again, change the height to 600, and then make sure it's aligned along with the top of the page. We're then going to drag again from the top ruler to the bottom of that object you can then feel free to delete that object because this is the top 600 pixels where most of your good content should go on your web page. Once you've completed this, click File, click Save Template and save the template as you need. Once you've saved it, close down the template that you created and you're going to click File, New and you can then open your template and you'll always have this ready whenever you need to make a website. Thank you.